guys so today we're gonna try and work on our new project which we just settled and that's the installing the solar panels we picked it up yesterday and Jakob is just starting to unpack them now and check out what we have there mm -hmm. so honey what did we buy <laughs> so we bought this um, the 100 watt uh, panel semi-flexible but thin like three millimeters uh, it's from a company called Sunbeam, I think it's in Chinese. But it looks very similar to, um, sorry, it's not called Sunbeam, but it looks like Sunbeam. Sunbeam is some very expensive Swedish brand, it's called Sunwind. Anyway, it was quite cheap, got a good deal at the Swedish bookshop. And we also picked up this uh, Victron uh, control board. They are really like Victron, it's very good quality and it has uh, Bluetooth uh, connectivity so we can check how much we're charging from the phone. So, yeah, that's very cool. A little bit of I'm tech. Forward. Mm -hmm. So, let's go up and see how this fits and then we can continue the install. And hopefully, we we'll can finish the and test it out because we have a beautiful uh, sunny day today and see how much we're, we're getting out of this 100 watt. I bet. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get 100 watts in Denmark because we don't have that much intensity. But if we can get like 80, 90, it would be just perfect. Looks pretty good. How did you measure it, honey? So I think it did a slight mistake on the measurement. It's about it's too long, so it's gonna cover our um, oh, what's called like the headlight window. Um, so let me think what to do because I really don't want to set this back. Actually, we, we drove a few hours to pick this up yesterday because it was a good deal. And um, well, the smaller one in size is only 60 watt. We don't want to go with 60. It's just like this. It's uh, let's see what you can out So the best solution I would come up with were to uh, lift up the entire base frame of the, uh, the spray hood here and then slide in the solar panel underneath that one. Um, I do lose like two or three centimeters of active solar panel but I think that's that's far worth it compared to uh, having to look at the uh, underside of the solar panel from the, um, the top window there in my, um, in my salon. So just having a look from the outside, you can see that I went all the way to the front edge um, next to the window. So cabling wise, I uh, did this uh, fairly clean install. So I ran the cable underneath this, um, this fiberglass shell. So I drilled this fairly uneven hole here, um, but that was necessary. So the cable will now uh, fall down on the uh, this plate with the sound insulation just uh, on the top of the engine. And I'm sliding most of the cable in here. Uh, it was a quite tedious task actually, to, to pull out the cable because there's a very tight crack there just to pull it out. But I managed after, after a few, few hours. Uh, the cable entrance here, I just sealed up with some butyl tape and uh, mounted the end piece so now it looks very very clean it's only from down here you can see a bit of cable sticking out and then of course where the solar panel um, sits so uh, final look at the installation so cable comes down here from the top plate there it goes down i zip tied everything nicely together so direct some from solar panel it goes to the mppt controller and then you have a cable from the MPPT controller going direct to the uh, to the main battery here. And I fitted the MPPT controller down here in the uh, port side uh, cabin. It sits down there very nicely hidden. And it doesn't really have to be exposed, just need to be mounted like this so uh, heat dissipation works uh, works well. And we just managed to do a system check. Uh, it's about eight o'clock in the evening and the uh, the sun is almost setting. That's why we are only making these um, magnificent four watts, but uh, everything's working. See, we are charging, we're charging very little, but it's working. And the app here is absolutely amazing. You can configure everything, uh, what kind of battery you have, um, 
charging rates and, and so on. Thank you for watching this video and we will be doing some more uh, testing in a nice sunny day to see how much we can actually get out of this. So if you like this video, please give it a uh, thumbs up and you can always subscribe to the channel and hit that uh, notification bell so you won't miss any future video. See you.